No homework check again today because we won't have time to put it in there, but we'll do it tomorrow. Here's an example of something different today. You have a list of numbers up at the top. And then you have your table down here at the bottom. Notice you have frequency, cumulative frequency, and then you have an RF on the far end. I'll explain what that is as soon as we get to it. Before we do anything else, you have to fill in the frequency table. So we'll just make tally marks here and go through one number at a time. Uh, you have a 3, which would go here. 6. 4 is here. 7. 9. 12, 15, 20, 13, and 11. All I'm doing is making a tally mark in the frequency cell whenever I cross off a number. So we still have the bottom row to do. There's 1, 8, 12, 14, 15, 12, uh, 17, 4, 6, 9, and then 2. Now to make it easier on yourself when you go back to add, you should go back and just write the number you have, like 5, 6, and it looks like we have 8 here, and 2. So what's the cumulative frequency for the first class? Cumulative frequency on this first class here be 5. What's it for the next one? 11 because you add that 5 and this 11. What's the next one? 19 because you add the 11 and the 8. And what's the last one? 21 because you add the 2 and the 19. Now that's what we did before but out here you have RF and that stands for cumulative frequency or not cumulative, it stands for relative frequency. Relative frequency. And the relative frequency is found by doing this. First, you need to know how many items you have all together. How many numbers do we have all together? Do you know the place, the cell you could look to find that out real quick? 21, yeah, it's going to be the last cell of the cumulative frequency. To find the relative frequency you want to find the percent that those numbers make up of the total. So you have five, you have five items in this class. So that's five out of 21. And then you have 11. So 11 out of 21. And then uh, Oh, I'm sorry, I went back and did the cumulative frequency. That's not right. That, it should be this. You're using the frequency. That's the number of times they show up. So that's 5 out of 21, and then 6 out of 21. I thought something looked, looked strange there. 5 and 6, and then you'll do 8 out of 21, and then 2 out of 21. You're using the frequency over the amount of items you have all together in your data set. So again we have 5, 6, 8, and 2 and you put each of those over 21. Now figure out what the percent is on those, on your calculator. So if you type in 5, 5 over 21 and multiply by 100, you'll come back with 23.8, but we're going to round this to the nearest percent. So we'll make that 24. And then you'll have 6 over 21 and multiply by 100. That comes out to be 29%. And then 8 over 21 multiply by 100, that's 38. And now you have to make sure these all add up to 100%. So first, let's find out what 2 over 21 is. Looks like it comes out to be 10%. Let's see if that meshes with what we have here. You have 38 and then 29. That is 67. 
67 and 24 is 91. So what should this last percent be? If it at 9, yeah, it should be 9. It says 0 0.095 on your calculator, and we are rounding up to the nearest percent. So in reality, it should be 10, but you have to make sure that all of these add up to be 100. So we already had 24 and 29, that's 53. 53 plus 38 is 91. To get the percentage, you divide the frequency by the number of numbers you have. 5 divided by 21, there. And then multiply by 100 and round to the nearest 1. So that should be 24. You do the same thing for 6 through 10 and 11 through 15, you get 29 and 38. But we have uh, we have to make sure all of these add up to be 100. So we had 24 and 29 is 53, plus 38 is 91. Now, when you do the calculations for 2 over 21, it comes out to be 9.5, which rounds to 10. But it, ha it must add to 100, or it, do it doesn't work out right. So we make this one 9 at the very end. If you have a really long table, there's, there's a different set of rules you could use, like you could round some one way and then skip others, but we're not going to get into that. For right now, we're just going to leave it as use the last one, since it's only four classes. Use the last one to make up for it. On this problem, all we're looking for is the relative frequency of this one. That's it. Okay, we need to find how many numbers are from 1 to 5, and we have 1, 2, 3, and 4. That's it. Yeah, so there's 4. How many numbers are there all together? Alright, so there are 21 numbers total. 4 divided by 21 is going to turn out to be 19. And when you round to the nearest percent, it is 19%.